Welcome to Pymol Biomolecules YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about the quinolone antimicrobial drugs. Okay. The first member in the quinolone antimicrobial drugs is the naldexic acid. So these quinolone antimicrobial drugs are the synthetic antimicrobial compounds. These are mostly synthesized in the 1960s. Okay. First we shall see the structure of nalidixic acid. The nalidixic acid structure composed of quinolone ring system. Okay. So this is the quinolone ring system. In the nitrogen, there is a ethyl substitution, and in the third position, there is a carboxylic acid. Okay, since this is a nalidixic acid, there is a carboxylic acid group in the third position. Okay, and in the seventh position, there is a methyl substitution. The numbering is as follows: nitrogen gets the number one, and number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There is no numbering for this carbon and this carbon. Okay, and this is the structure of nalidixic acid. These quinolone antimicrobial drugs are primarily active. against the gram negative bacteria and newer fluoroquinolones are active against the gram positive bacteria also okay and this nalidixic acid is mainly used for the urinary tract infection and gi tract infection okay next we shall see the fluoroquinolones in the fluoroquinolone drugs there is one or more fluoro substitution okay in the quinolone ring system first we shall draw the quinolone ring system this is the quinolone ring system okay first we shall see the prototype drug which is ciprofloxacin okay so there is a cyclopropyl ring in the nitrogen and there is a carboxylic acid in the third position and there is a fluoro substitution on the sixth position this is the sixth okay first nitrogen gets the number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 and this is number 5 6 and 7 okay this is 8 and there is a piperazin ring in the seventh position this is the piperazin ring attached in the seventh position and this is the structure of ciprofloxacin so as you can see there is a fluorine substitution in the sixth position okay and you can see there is no fluorine substitution in the nalidixic acid and this is called non fluorinated quinolones there is no fluorine substitution in the nalidixic acid and this is also called non fluorinated quinolones and this is the fluorinated quinolones also called as fluoroquinolones and which is present in the sixth position okay so that's all about the fluoroquinolones next we can see the classification classification of quinolone drugs
these quinolones are classified into first there is a non fluorinated quinolones okay that is called nanodexic acid and the fluoroquinolones these fluoroquinolones are classified into first generation and second generation first generation fluoroquinolones so there is a mnemonic for first generation fluoroquinolones that is ncop okay all the fluoroquinolones end with the suffix called fluoxacin okay if the drug name ends with the fluoxacin then it is called fluoroquinolones okay the first generation fluoroquinolones are first okay nor fluoxacin second c stand for ciprofloxacin and o stand for ofloxacin and next this pe stand for pefloxacin so these are the first generation fluoroquinolones okay the shortcut is ncop norfloxacin ciprofloxacin ofloxacin and pefloxacin and next there is a second generation fluoroquinolones these drugs are first levofloxacin okay second moxifloxacin third one gemifloxacin next prolifloxacin okay p r u l i prolifloxacin next low me fluoxacin sixth one spar fluoxacin so except this ncop drugs the, these are second generation fluoroquinolones okay next we can see the mechanism of action of fluoroquinolones how these fluoroquinolones inhibit the gram positive and gram negative bacteria in the gram positive bacteria there is enzyme called topoisomerase 4 okay the fluoroquinolones inhibit the topo4 in the gram positive bacteria in the gram negative bacteria there is enzyme called dna gyrase this dna gyrase is responsible for introduction of negative supercoils in the gram positive bacteria this function is performed by topoisomerase 4 okay and in the human host cells okay in place of dna gyrase and topo4 there is a enzyme called topoisomerase 2 okay these fluoroquinolones bind with a very low affinity okay this fluoroquinolones bind with a very low affinity to topoisomerase 2 so there is less toxicity for the host cells and this bind with a very high affinity to the topo4 so there is high potency in the gram positive bacteria and it also bind with the dna gyrase enzyme also and it inhibits the dna gyrase okay so that there is no formation of negative supercoils okay this topo4 is also responsible for introduction of negative supercoils okay in the dna gyrase it consists of two subunits okay one is and one is a subunit and another one is the b subunit 
there are two A subunits and two B subunits. This fluoroquinolones bind with the A subunit. Okay, this A subunit responsible for cutting the DNA and joining the DNA. Okay, and this B subunit is responsible for introduction of negative supercoils. Okay. So these fluoroquinolones bind with the A subunit. So this DNA gyrase enzyme is inhibited. Okay. This is the mechanism of action of fluoroquinolone in the gram-negative bacteria. In the gram-positive bacteria, fluoroquinolone inhibits the TOPO4 enzyme, and in the host cells, there is an enzyme called TOPO2, and the fluoroquinolone bind with the low affinity to the TOPO2 enzyme. So there is low toxicity to the host cells next we say next what are the adverse effect of the fluoroquinolones so phototoxicity okay phototoxicity is rare and important one is in the patients with the G6PD deficiency there is a risk of development of hemolysis okay there is a risk of development of hemolysis so this is very important uh, toxicity of the fluoroquinolones next uh, when you administer nitrofurantoin okay When you administer nitrofurantoin concurrently with the fluoroquinolones, there is an antagonism. Okay, so you should not administer nitrofurantoin concurrently with the fluoroquinolones. So the antagonism occurs. So that's all about toxicity and adverse effects. Okay, this is the adverse effect. and this is the antagonism between the nitrofurantoin and fluoroquinolones so that's all thank you for watching